Greetings to you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am really glad to speak to you from this program, Word from God through Grace Television Studio. We serve a wonderful and amazing God and He is the maker of all our universe and definitely He can handle all the situation that we are going through this day. So I hope you had a blessed month's days ahead and God has made us to walk through all this 2017 and within a few days we are going to complete the month of September, go into a new month and God wants to do great and wonderful things in our life. So it is by His grace we have been blessed. God has strengthened us, kept us from all evil disasters which was surrounding us, protected us until this day. He has fed us, He has clothed us, He has given all the things that we are in need. Able to move forward to glorify the name of the Lord. And this day also, I like to meditate on a word of God and just pray with you. So it is just a matter of encouragement to everyone. And whatever I speak here encourages me. And God is going to do great and wonderful things in your life. So this day, I have taken out a verse from Luke chapter 2, verses 47, 48, 49, and 50. Luke's chapter 2, verses 47, 48, 49, and 50. I'm just going to read it out for you. If you have a Bible or an iPad, anything of highness that you use, to read the scripture, just go on to the verse and just see what it has been written. I am reading this from a KGV Bible. Luke chapter 2, verses 47, 48, 49, and 50. And here we go, it is like this. And all who heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. This is about Jesus, what I am speaking about. And all who heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. So when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Look, your father and I have sought you anxiously. And he said to them, why did you seek me? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? But they did not understand the statement which he has spoken to them. This is a para where Jesus came to a feast and while they were returning back, Joseph and Mary couldn't find Jesus with them, they went back to the place searching Jesus. At that time, he was speaking to the people who were available there. And those people who were hearing him were astonished at his understanding and answers. When you are being filled with the Holy Spirit, when you are being blessed by the Holy Spirit. People who are around you will be astonished at your understanding and the answers what you give them. This is what the Spirit of God can do, do in your life. So I am here to encourage you, be filled in the Holy Spirit. Allow the Holy Spirit to fill you completely. 
See, I have an habit when I use my mobile phone. Whenever I go to a place, sit and speak to someone, immediately I charge my phone. And I'm very happy if my phone has always 100% of battery. So when it comes down, I again charge it. So it is like way you have to be keep filling yourself with the Holy Spirit. When you are being filled in the Holy Spirit, God is going to do great and amazing things in your life. Because when Jesus answered them, he says, why did you seek me? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? He was aware for what he was here. And you need to know for what you are here, for what you have been called for. Always try to do, fulfill our Father's business. Trying to communicate with God and ask Him for His grace to move forward. If you are really seeking the kingdom of God, you want to just move forward in all that you do, God is going to do great and wonderful things in your life. So keep up the Father's business. If you want to know what the Father wants to do through us, hear him more than you speak. Ask God to speak to you. Wherever you are. It is not that only in the prayer time when you kneel down he speaks. Whatever work you do, wherever you are, if you can have an heart of communication with God, He is definitely going to communicate with you. And He is definitely going to lead you into green patches. So you have to develop your habits always speaking to God, wherever you are. And this habit has been in me from a very long time when God met me in 1997. From that time till this 2017, God is in communication with me and I do communicate with God. I ask Him to speak what He wants me to do. And I just move forward as He allows me. There are a lot of things around me. There are a lot of people who love me. There are a lot of people who are around me to support me, to help me. I just love them. I just pray for them. I just encourage them also. Even though I do all those things, I just do what God tells me. I hear the suggestions of people. I do hear the counseling of the people. But I still wait on God and ask Him, what is His will in that? Because what we are doing here on the earth is the fastest business. So he has to guide us according to his guidance. When we just start moving, you will see great and mighty things coming on your way. So that is what Jesus answered the parents. He says, Mary and Joseph, why did you seek me? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? So you need to know what God is telling you. See the first miracle in the Bible when the water turned into a wine and there was lack of wine in the marriage house. At that house Jesus was invited with all his disciples Jesus entered there. They were in that marriage feast. So while they were there the wine got over. So the people started stumbling here and there and said Mary about that. So when she requested Jesus, even though he sustained her for the first time, then he went through and said, fill those pots with water. Because Mary said, do what he says. 
This is what we have to do. Do what he says. So whatever you do, do what he says. So you have to hear if you wanted to do it. So be a good hearer of the word of God. Keep on hearing. Keep on hearing. Keep on hearing. And God will make you to do all the things that you hear. It is not only doing, he will provide everything that you are required of it. When the master commands us, when our father commands us, he is going to meet everything for what he has told. So do not worry about the things which is around you right now. Have good communication with the Lord. See, when the people heard that Jesus said, fill the spots, they never questioned him. They filled those spots with water. And after filling those spots, he never went there, prayed, or, or he has done something there. He said, give it to the people. And that was the wine. More delicious, more tasty than the previous one. So this is what Jesus can do in your life. Do what he says. Don't question him or anything. When you have been guided by God, just do it. You will have thousands of questions in your mind and the people surrounding you will give you a lot of ideas about that. Do not bother them. Do not hurt them. Do what the Father says to you. And you will see great and amazing things coming on your way. So that's what I'm telling you. Trust God. Trust God. Hear more of Him than you speak to Him. Strengthen yourself in the power of God. And He is going to do great things. So it might be a business. It might be a ministry. It might be a family. Your personal life or your marriage. Education. Whatever it might be. Do not worry about the things. Just hold on to the word of God. Allow God to deal with you. Let the spirit of God fill you completely. You allow yourself to be handled by the spirit of God. When the spirit of God is handling you, no lack will come in your life. And God will fulfill all that he has promised you because we serve an unchanging God so today whatever your situations may be are you feared of the medical records which is against you God can change it right now in the name of Jesus are you fear about the finances that you are need to move forward God is going to meet it God is going to open your ways. God is going to definitely do miracle in your life. Hear him what to do. Communicate with him. Because the Bible says, when Jesus was on this earth, he was always up to his father's business. That's why in the cross he says, it is finished. What assignments father gave to him, he finished it and he says, it is finished. It is finished. He has completed it. So friends, I like to encourage you to have good communication with God, good communication with the Holy Spirit. Always allow him to speak to you. Always allow him to guide you. Always allow him to lead you that he is going to do great and wonderful things in your life. So hold on to the word of God. Be filled in the spirit. Ask God to speak to you and lead you furthermore. And God is going to do great and wonderful things in your life. Do not worry about the situations. Our God will change the situations. Do not worry the things which is against you. The things that is raised against you. Have good communication with God. Everything is going to change right now. So do not worry about that. Hold on to the word of God. God will do great things in your life. 
So this day I like to encourage, have good communication, fulfill our father's business, keep on doing what he tells you, and God is going to do great and wonderful things in your life. In the years to come, God is going to bless you abundantly. Your businesses, your families, your church, your ministries, your children's, everything, everyone are going to be blessed. And you will be a light wherever you are right now. So trust God, hold on to his word. God is going to do great and wonderful things in your life. So this day I close down with this and I like to pray with you. Friends, hold on to the word of God always. Have communication with him. Ask God to lead you. Definitely great changes will take place. There is nothing impossible by him who has called us. So trust him. Jesus is the only way for all the things that you are up to right now. So hold on to him, have faith upon him. God is going to change everything upside down and he will bless you abundantly. So we will pray together. Allow God to come into your life and take a lead with you that you will glorify his name. Shall we pray together? Yes, we are going to pray together. Let's bow down, close our eyes and look up to God. Precious Heavenly Father, I come to thy feet in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for all the things that you have done until this day. Lord, I know the people who are watching this, you are speaking to them. Lord, communicate with them. Give them the understanding to hear your communication. To walk according to what you tell. Fulfill all the things that you are kept for them. It is not their desire. Do all your will in their life. Allow them to move forward. Meet all the needs that they are required right now. Heal them from all the sicknesses right now in the name of Jesus. Let all the medical records be normal right now in the name of Jesus. As they are struggling, let all the struggles live them right now. I nullify all the evil bondages in the name of Jesus right now. I command the Spirit of God to be in their life. Be fully filled. Let the sorrows turn into joy that they will glorify your name. I commit each and every one who are watching this. Bless them abundantly. Make them away to move forward. I commit everyone into your mighty hands. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Beloved friends, you are going to be a blessing for the Lord. Do not worry about the things. Just hold on to the word of God. Allow God to come into your life and he will do great and wonderful things. If you like to communicate with us, see the numbers on the screen and you can call us for prayer and counseling. If you are willing to serve the Lord to build up the kingdom through us, Avail yourself to talk with us. Together, we can build the kingdom of God. God is going to do great and wonderful things. So be blessed with peace and happiness. God bless you. Thank you for watching this. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm.